So this is the latest project I've been working on. It's a uh, dual flow meter um, for the fish tanks and grow bed. Uh, I basically have these little uh, one inch liquid flow meters. Uh, one will be connected to the plumbing to the fish tank and the other one will be connected to the plumbing to the grow bed. And I have them connected into an Arduino with an LCD display. And uh, I'll just go ahead and give you a quick demo of how it works by blowing into it. So as you can see the display updated. Uh, now it's dropping back down to zero. Um, I also have it uh, in this nice uh, watertight case uh, since it will be outside and it uh, seals up really nice and you can still see the display through the case and uh, it was actually uh, a pretty fun build it's got a little pot, the little blue thing down here that's to adjust the contrast on the screen so I can show you that so by adjusting the pot you can adjust the uh, the screen contrast so you can get the best contrast those LCDs are temperature sensitive so you always have to have something uh, you know to adjust them and uh, We've got uh, two ports. I went ahead and used a three and a half millimeter audio connector and put two of them in. And then I put a uh, regular power adapter. This is a nine volt power adapter that uh, is powering the whole project. And uh, that's it for the hardware. It was uh, pretty easy. I'll uh, show you the schematics and uh, the code next. Okay, so um, here's uh, the schematic for the uh, flow meter. Uh, the flow meter has a uh, power and ground and a signal wire. We're bringing the signal wire into uh, pin 2. Uh, we're also using pin 3 for the second flow meter. Uh, pin 2 and pin, pin 3 are interrupts 0 and 1 on the uh, Arduino. Uh, and we also have a uh, 10K pull-up resistor on the signal line. Um, this uh, helps eliminate some of the noise on the signal line. If you don't have that in there, um, you'll run into a situation where the uh, flow meter even though it's not running, we'll start giving you a false reading. Uh, but once you add the pull-up in there, once it stops, it reads zero pretty reliably. And uh, that's it for the flow meters. Um, the uh, LCD, this schematic here comes right off of the uh, Arduino website. Uh, the only difference between uh, this and what we did is uh, this is showing the uh, data lines for the LCD on pins 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're actually hooked to 4, 5, 6, and 7. Uh, we do that because we obviously need pins 2 and 3 for the uh, flow sensors. Uh, we also have a uh, little 10K pot set up as a voltage divider with each end going to pop 5 volts in ground and the center tap is coming in and providing the contrast control for the LCD. So for the code it's pretty simple uh, we're using the uh, liquid crystal library we instantiate the liquid crystal uh, these are the pins we've used um, we're also using pins uh, two and three for the uh, fish tank and the grow bed centers. Uh, we got a pulse count, we have a calibration factor. Um, this is an spec sheet for the uh, for the sensor. Uh, we're using one inch sensors, and it's 4.8. We also have a conversion factor 
for uh, gallons per minute to uh, liters per minute and we have the flow rate. We have an increment function um, that every time it's called it increases the pulse count by one. We have a function to get the flow rate where we pass in the interrupt whether that's interrupt zero or interrupt one. Uh, we basically set the pulse count to zero. We attach the interrupt. Uh, on the interrupt we call the increment function on a rising pulse. We turn the interrupts on, we wait one second, we turn the interrupts off, we detach the interrupt, and then we return uh, the pulse count divided by the calibration factor, gives you the flow rate in liters per minute, and then we divide that by the conversion factor to get gallons per minute. In the uh, setup routine, we basically turn both of the sensor pins into input pins and we declare the LCD as being a 16 character by two line display. And then the main loop is pretty simple. We get the flow rate for interrupt zero and then we output that as gallons per minute. Then we get the flow rate for interrupt one and we output that as gallons per minute. And that's it. We've got 62 lines of code here. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy code, pretty straightforward. Uh, gets the job done. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of stuff here with the fraction where we're uh, returning the uh, tens place decimal and we're not doing any rounding. I'm not really concerned about that, you know. I'm, this doesn't have to be, you know, very, very precise of a reading, so we can get away with it. It just gives us, a, you know, close enough reading. But that's it. That's the code, and uh, that's the uh, dual flow meter. If you uh, have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and uh, I'll see if I can answer them for you. Uh, thanks for watching.